Hello, uh, today we are going to learn about a worm known as Tritinella spiralis. So let us start with it. It belongs to the class Nematode and the common name is Trichina worm. Geographical distribution, it is common in Europe, United States, Africa. It is not commonly seen in India. Habitat it resides in duodenum and jejunum the mucosa that is basically small intestine. Morphology uh, it is the smallest nematode. Uh, this is a very important fact to remember. Uh, as usual, all nematodes, male worms are smaller than the female worms. Female are viviparous, that means female will directly give birth to the larval forms. Uh, this larva they got encysted and striated muscles uh, not in cardiac or smooth muscle it is basically striated muscle where this larva get encysted the common muscles in which this larva get encysted is diaphragm intercostal muscle pectoralis major deltoid biceps and gastric Life spawn is very short. The male worm usually dies after fertilizing the female. That is usually one week after infection. And female worm it dies after giving birth to the larva. That is approximately 16 weeks after the infection. And the larval form uh, they may live up to six months to 31 years. Life cycle there is only one host uh, which acts as a both definitive and intermediate host. So we will see. Uh, adult worm as well as the larval form in one host but transfer from one uh, living host to another living host is required for completion of its life cycle so there are basically uh, three sorry uh, host for it rat pig and man and usually uh, the cycle goes within rat to rat right uh, so between one rat and another rat or cycle goes between pig to pig sometimes it can go to rat to pig and pig to rat because humans may consume the pork that is meat of pig then from pig it may enter into man but here uh, because rat and pig will not consume human meat it is basically dead end for the parasite mode of infection is basically ingestion of pig's flesh containing the larva uh, which is either raw uncooked or insufficiently cooked that's how the larval form will remain alive in pig's flesh so once uh, you ingest this uh, larval form in the pig's flesh within 48 hours they will become adult worm and then it will differentiate into male and female worms within 5 to 7 days the male will fertilize the female and dies after that that is approximately within one week of infection then uh, this fertilized female will go to the uh, intestinal wall and discharge approximately 1500 larva for 4 to 16 weeks and then she also dies this larva will enter into circulation and they find their target that is basically striated muscle and they go and localize there and they get encysted and uh, avoid killing by immune system and this encystment it starts on 21st day and it is usually completed within three months and you can see the long axis of this encystment capsule is parallel to the muscle fiber of the host sometimes uh, within 6 to 18 months uh, this larval form will get calcified so here is I have made a pictorial diagram to understand the life cycle of uh, this worm trichinella spiralis so as we know that cycle usually continues between rat to rat and pig to pig sometimes rat to pig and pig to rat but as humans ingest uh, pigs flesh that is known as pork sometimes it will go 
from pig to man but uh, because rat and pig will not eat this uh, human flesh it is basically dead end for the parasite now let us understand what happens when you once you ingest uh, sorry ingest this undercooked muscle with this flesh the digestive enzyme will release larval form into the stomach the adult worm will release in small intestine they will differentiate into male and female worms the male will fertilize the female and then it dies the female will bore up to intestinal wall and uh, that will release the larva because she is viviparous and the larva will enter the circulation and they will find their way to striated muscle where they get encysted and for human it is dead end but if it is pig or rat the another animal will eat their flesh and the cycle will continue so why we are learning this uh, parasite because it causes a clinical condition known as trichinellosis or also known as trichiniasis or sometimes trichinosis it is basically gastrointestinal disturbance consisting of nausea vomiting abdominal pain die and sometimes constipation the incubation period is approximately one week but it is not GI manifestation that we are worried about we are worried about this phase that is the larval migration because larva enters into the circulatory system and it may cause allergic symptoms like articular rash uh, hemorrhages edema myositis sometimes uh, it enters into lung and cause bronchopneumonia myocarditis neurological signs and as larva will get encysted in skeletal muscle the symptoms will disappear uh, it causes 5% mortality rate that is due to involvement of heart muscle that is myocarditis which lead to congestive heart failure and sudden death uh, during the larval migration phase sometimes thrombosis of large arteries of brain may cause neurological symptoms and death so how we can diagnose uh, we have to take biopsy of the muscles mainly deltoid and gastric pneumias are easy to take so tendon of insertion is the site where they get localized more commonly so from there we take muscle biopsy and we demonstrate in that muscle that larva is encysted uh, the second method which was used earlier but now i think it is obsolete that biopsy will be fed to the rat and rat will be killed after one month and we will see that larva uh, in the muscle of kill rat but I think this would be the more appropriate method to diagnose this condition for example this is the muscle biopsy that we have taken and as you can see we can see a uh, larva encysted in the muscle stool is rarely positive for larva because larva or worms they rarely uh, excreted in stool Blood will show eosinophilia, especially uh, during the migration phase of larva. We can detect antibodies, but that will be non-specific. Earlier, a skin test uh, was done using the larva from infected rabbit's muscle antigen, that is known as Bachmann's antigen. Uh, it is intradermally injected, and we will see type one hypersensitivity in form of arithmetic patch which persists for 15 to 20 years it, this is also not done so the main diagnostic method will be the encysted larval demonstration in muscle biopsy sometimes x-ray will show you calcified larval cysts treatment is albendazole thiabendazole or mabendazole steroids may be given to elevate symptoms Prophylaxis uh, inspection of meat at slaughterhouse has to be done regularly and we should avoid eating raw or uncooked pork or pig's flesh. Uh, 